The mayor also appeared at a regularly scheduled regional meeting today, but refused to answer questions afterward. Mayor Tao maintains her innocence and has not been charged with a crime. KTVU crime reporter Henry Lee has been working his sources. He's there live tonight in the newsroom with the very latest. Henry. Yeah, Mike, Jennifer Trant wears a lot of hats. She's a leader in the Vietnamese-American community in Oakland, and she's also an ethnic studies professor at Cal State East Bay. She's also an East Bay congressional candidate who happens to have connections with the Duong family whose properties were raided. This is a story of corruption. Corruption is a cancer that poisons every government on the planet. Jennifer Tran, a candidate for Congress and president of the Oakland Vietnamese Chamber of Commerce, stood outside City Hall to denounce embattled Mayor Sheng Tao. Despite her compelling personal story that I relate with as a daughter of refugees, Mayor Sheng Tao is just another unfit, entrenched American mayor who decided to play the game as she saw it being played. Last week, federal agents raided Tao's home and several properties tied to the politically connected Duong family, who own California Waste Solutions, a company that manages Oakland's recycling program. On Monday, during a fiery speech at City Hall, Tao denounced the raid and said she was the victim of a conspiracy. I will not be bullied, and I will not be disparaged, and I will not be threatened out of this office. On Wednesday, Tao attended an MTC meeting in San Francisco. She told us she couldn't comment. She later left that meeting while it was still in session. Tao has made no mention of the Duong family, but Tran, who is running for Congress, did, acknowledging that she received $3,300 from four members of the Duong family for her campaign. I will return the money even though it is legally contributed. Tran also confirmed her father had been accused of taking part in a straw donor scheme involving the Duong family. And so if my father or the Duongs committed a crime, they will do the time. So those raids last week were conducted by the FBI, the IRS, and U.S. Postal Inspectors. And so all eyes will now be on the U.S. Attorney as to whether there will be any criminal prosecution in federal court. Live in the newsroom, Henry Lee, KTVU, Fox 2 News. All right, Henry, thank you.